Now, a lot of people ask me for more information about these, uh, this FPV backpack unit that I have built here. And I'll give you some close-ups now so you can see what's involved. There's that little board I was telling you about. It's a quite a simple little circuit board. I, if there's a demand, I'll get these, um, I'll send the design off to a fab company and they'll make them up and you'll be able to buy them directly, probably. Either built up or you can just, there's only a few components, a handful, a tiny handful of components, and they're pretty easy to solder on, as you can see. Not much in there, just enough to make life interesting. A little regulator and a few other bits and pieces. Um, there's the little module that does the hard work, that little tin package. And then we've got the really cheap CCD Hobby King Sony camera on the front. The little cloverleaf antenna here. And then I've got the little 5 volt UBEC here, which basically just chops down the 12 volts to the right voltage for the this new board, this board I've made here. Um, because if we just put a regulator on that board that went from 12 volts down to the 3.3 volts it needs, it get too hot. These switch mode regulators, these UBEX SBEX are really good, so we use one of those, and they're only $5 or something, not expensive. So the total cost, you can say $20 for the camera, $20 for the module, maybe $10 for that board, and $5 for that. Pretty cheap all up. And this is... Uh, this is your FPV backpack. It's got Velcro on the bottom. It's on Coroplast or Core Flute, whatever you want to call it. Just put together with hot glue. Simple, simple. Uh, Velcro on the bottom, and that, that means that you can take this, you can put it on your um, any plane you want. In fact, over here I've got the, the T Lotus T580, and I've already got some Velcro on there, so all I have to do to put FPV enable this is just do that. Here we go, look, see that? Then Velcro it on there, and I can adjust the angle by rotating it round. We're all set to go. I can FPV my T580 and then when I want to fly something else I just pull this off voila I can put it on anything that I want to fly my AXN I could even in theory put it on my 50cc uh, extra 330 but let's be totally honest it's not really safe to FPV a 50cc model I, I wouldn't do it myself but you know any model you can think of that you want to FPV this is the way you do it for not a lot of money I just I see the hot glue's come undone there, but I'll put some more on later. Um, yeah, there's no cheaper way that I'm aware of to get into FPV. I flew this to, flew this today again, and I was out um, maximum range, probably 500 meters. Perfect, clear as a bell, not a single dropout. Absolutely wonderful. And here is my receiver now. Obviously, this is an unusual day this summer because the sun has actually come out. But up here, there's one of those little. $25, $30 receiver. It's got one of those little cloverleaf antennas on there. I'll, as I say, I'll show you where to go to find out how to make those. And I'll actually, I should be using a four leaf one there called a um, coplanar or something rather, anyway. Um, yeah, but this works just absolutely fine. Cables run down. I showed you my pole before. It's a real mess. I've got a whole bunch of different leads here. We've got the AV leads and there's some battery leads here. And that just basically powers up the receiver, brings the audio visual down, or just the visual really, I'm not using audio. And then down here I can plug in my Fat Sharks or my video visor or whatever I want to, and that's it. Away we go. And with the video visor, of course, you can just Velcro this receiver to the side of the visor. That antenna is high enough to be out of the way, and you get not quite the same range, but certainly more than enough. And it means you can hold the model and launch it yourself, you don't have to uh, be tethered to a pole. But anyway, this is all coming up. How to build the backpack, how to set everything up, all the wiring, everything you need to know to build your own really low-cost FPV system that you can move from model to model just by ripping it off the Velcro.